Welcome to the annual celebration of the birth centenaries of inspirational scientists that begins today. In this special program of Vigyan Prasar, we pay our homage to the founders of Indian science as we celebrate Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, which leads to the 75th year of India's independence. It is only fitting that the younger generation is made aware of the contributions and pioneering efforts of our eminent scientists and technocrats. In today's program, we pay homage to some outstanding Indian scientists who have made the country proud by expanding the realm of scientific research and discovery for the benefit of humanity. Professor Har Gobind Khurana played a crucial role in deciphering the genetic code and was the first scientist to synthesize an artificial gene. His research, which spanned six decades and included some 500 research papers in chemistry and biology, opened genetic engineering as a new branch of science. Professor Hargobind Khurana shared the 1968 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Marshall W. Nuremberg and Robert W. Holly for their interpretation of the genetic code and its function in protein synthesis. Yelavarthi Nayudamba was a chemical engineer and scientist and was born in a remote village in Andhra Pradesh. His dream was to synergize research laboratories with academia and industry to benefit the underprivileged. This mission earned him the epithet, People's Scientist, but he always called himself a farmer by birth and cobbler by profession. Dr. Nayudama brought together eight CSIR laboratories with expertise in diverse fields such as physics, chemistry, geology, water, instrumentation and structural engineering, thereby strengthening the institution for better synergies. Gupala Samudram Narayana Ramachandran discovered the triple helical structure of collagen. Dr. Ramachandran co-authored the paper with crystallographer Gopinath Kartha. Their concept of the coiled coil structure was a fundamental advancement in understanding polypeptide structures and is a milestone in the advancement of molecular biology. Ramachandran and his team introduced a two-dimensional map now known as the Ramachandran Phi Psi diagram or simply Ramachandran plot. This provided a rational basis to describe stereochemically possible structures of polypeptides. Rajeshwari Chatterjee was an academic and scientist. Dr. Chatterjee was selected for a scholarship to pursue her PhD in the prestigious University of Michigan in 1947. This was a time when very few women pursued higher education in fields of science and even fewer went abroad. After attaining her PhD in 1953, Rajeshwari Chatterjee returned to India and became a faculty member at the IISC Department of Electrical Communication Engineering. Dr. Chatterjee was selected for the position of chairman in the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering. Over her lifetime, she mentored 20 PhD students, wrote over 100 research papers and authored seven books. Balasubramaniam Ramamurthy was an Indian neurosurgeon, researcher and author and is recognized as the father of neurosurgery in India. Dr. Ramamurthy's research on the neurophysiology of the deep structures of the brain during stereotactic surgery led to a better understanding of movement disorders, pain and epilepsy. Dr. Ramamurthy helped establish the Apex Brain Research Institute in the country, the National Brain Research Center in Manesar. G.S. Ladda was a chemical engineer. He was known for his research on liquid-liquid extraction and his contribution to establishing several chemical industries in India. He was the first recipient of the Ambrose Congreve Award and the honor of Chemical Engineer of the Year 
1980, nominated by the Indian Institute of Chemical Engineers.